Welcome to another Simply Answers Tips and Tricks video. In this edition, we're going to cover iCloud and setting it up and all the options and features that it has. So the first thing you need to do is just go into your system preferences on your Mac. And then right here, you'll see the iCloud icon. Click on that. And if you haven't set up an Apple ID, you can do it from right here. You just would click Create New Apple ID. But if you already have one, just go ahead and enter it in right here. The Apple ID is usually the email that you use when you buy any music, apps, or movies. Enter in your password and click Sign In. And really, that's it. Then once you uh, enter in your information, it's going to ask you some basic stuff. Would you like to use iClouds for mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, notes, and Safari? Um, this is the synchronization part of it. I'll talk more about that in a second. And then you can use it to find your Mac. Um, so you can actually, similar to like find out my iPhone, um, you can see your Mac on a map. And if ever, you know, got lost or stolen, this can help, possibly help you find it. So we'll go ahead and click Next. So right here are all the various things the iCloud can work with and what it does with your computer, your iPhone, and your iPad. It can sync your mail across all your devices, contacts, calendars, reminders, notes, and your Safari bookmarks. So those will be synced across all your devices. You add a calendar to one uh, device, it updates on another device. You add a new contact on one, it updates on the other, so on and so forth. iCloud Keychain um, allows you to sync your passwords across all your devices. Um, so if you have a password for like a bank account or something like that, it can sync across all your devices. It also, if you need to set up a new password, it will also help you do that as well. You can enable photo syncing. So a photo stream, you take a picture with your iPhone, it'll automatically sync to your other devices if it's turned on on those other devices, of course. And that's something important to know. These have to be turned on on every device. So if you have it turned on on these, uh, on this Mac, but not on your iPhone, it won't sync. So it'll have to be turned on on both. You can sync your documents and data with iCloud. So if you're working in pages, keynote or numbers, you can do that. Back to Mac, that's a remote networking type thing. And of course, find my Mac. And really, this is all it is to iCloud. Um, it's not that complicated. A lot of people try to make it scary. But all you do is log in with your Apple ID, say what you want synced, say what you don't want synced. And that's it. So that's how you um, work with your Apple ID and setting up an iCloud and managing your iCloud. So if you have any more in-depth questions on it, just uh, reach out to us on Facebook, just facebook.com slash simplymac, twitter.com simplymacstore, or just drop into any one of our locations and we can walk you through it there. Thanks for joining us.